Shalom friends, Larry Stam here, so glad you are joining me. I wanted to let you know that Rosh Hashanah, the Feast of Trumpets, begins at sundown on October 2nd. This will commemorate the beginning of the civil new year. On the Hebrew calendar, it is 5785. During Rosh Hashanah, what we do is we celebrate the sweetness of this civil new year. We will eat traditionally sweet things like donuts and other sweets, apples with honey. We will also read the Akeda. The Akeda is the binding of Isaac from Genesis 22. And we will also blow the shofar. Now, traditional Jewish worshipers who will attend the synagogue on Rosh Hashanah, which begins the fall feast season, what will happen is during this traditional shofar service, the trumpet blast, the shofar, will be blasted about a hundred times. And what this trumpet blast does is it grabs the people's attention. And this trumpet blast, this shofar service, will call my Jewish people to turn our hearts towards spiritual matters at the upcoming Jewish High Holidays. Ten days following Rosh Hashanah, you have Yom Kippur, the Day of Atonement, the holiest day on the Jewish calendar. And following that, five days later, you will have the Feast of Tabernacles, otherwise known as Sukkot. Psalm 89, verse 15. The Word of God says, Blessed are the people who know the joyful sound. In Hebrew, the sound is teruah, and it means to shout, to signal, or to alarm. And my heart for my Jewish people who don't yet know the Messiah is that the shofar sound would stir my people and give them a desire to seek God who created them and loves them and wants them to come to his saving knowledge of Messiah Jesus. Won't you join me in praying for the Jewish people, those in your sphere of influence who have not yet met Messiah? Pray for the Jewish people in general, those who haven't yet met the Lord. And also during this time in October, we remember, we remember last year's terrorist attack. Pray for the salvation of Israel, for the protection of Israel, for God's hand to be with the Jewish people. Pray for peace. Pray for the peace of God found in Jesus to rest upon many, many in the Middle East, both Jewish and Arab alike. Thank you for joining me for this time. And again, take this fall feast season, the fall feasts of Israel, and lift up your heart to the throne of grace and ask the Lord to have mercy upon Jewish people, upon Arab people, upon all people who have not yet met the Lord Jesus. Thank you and God bless you.